all of you here this evening. And I'm, I can't wait to get started. I like to start on time. I did not realize that it was after seven. So let's get started, let's get started, let's get started. Amen, amen. Ladies, you can come to the front table. They'll tell you where to be seated and take care of your tickets up there. Thank you so much. Second, and as I'm with Lynn and Brad for this evening. Father, we come before you tonight just giving you all praise, glory, and honor for your God and your God all by yourself, Lord. We ask you, Lord, that your presence would be here among us, God, at this lovely blanket we have tonight, God. I ask you to bless the angels, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord. And I ask you to have your way in this place, Lord. Let it be peace, love, as always, because you are God of love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We're going to show a video at this time. If you would turn around um, to just see the first fashion show that I did approximately 20 years ago. And I'd like to be able to now continue to do it. Um, can we show the video? Thank you so much. And uh, that uh, the corporate council of Africa, the state department, the department of commerce, and uh, Congressman Jefferson will be hosting a forum in doing business in Africa as well as the trade uh, with the World Trade Center. Okay, now you were talking earlier about the influence on the African fashion and the European market, which is coming here to the States. Tell me a little bit about, first of all, how that's influencing it and what we're seeing in terms of your original wear and how it makes it its way to the United States. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it's been a very exciting time for the fashion industry in Africa. We're seeing a lot of new fashion coming out of uh, which can be used as a form of our regular wear. In Africa, we don't have uh, the regular evening wear because they all run around the same time. Uh, what we are doing right now is uh, convert some of them into the uh, European style or African design, like the ladies' regular dresses, skirt and blouse with African design and hat so, for, for church and
We're just trying to give you an awareness of um, the Af Africa period because we are looking forward to some things that's going to happen where Africa is concerned. Some of the people you see on here are already just has expired, but we thank God that they were here during the time that this was done. Hello and welcome to Stars Over the East. I'm Cynthia Ward, your state representative and host of our show, Stars Over the East is a bi-monthly community broadcast designed to enlighten you, our viewers, about the issues and current events taking shape in and around the New Orleans East area. Stars Over the East is generously sponsored by Family Advocacy and Neighborhood Services, a community organization that works diligently to meet some of the basic social needs of our community. As you know, it is our goal to bring issues concerning our community into your home on a bi-weekly basis. As we do so, we invite you to respond with questions or comments at Stars Over the East, care of your state representative, Cynthia Willard, 5700 Reed Boulevard, Box 50, New Orleans, 70127. Well, spring is finally here, and with the new season comes new thoughts, and new attitudes. And we very excitedly go into our closet and resurrect the best and the brightest. We this afternoon will be bringing you some of the latest in Easter wear for mom, for dad, for the children, for the whole family. And it will all be brought to you by some of our best and most talented and dedicated entrepreneurs in the New Orleans East area who are dedicated to making you, our family, look its very best. Joining us today, we're so excited to have the husband and wife TIT, Autry and Jill Adu, two of New Orleans East finest and owners of the new Adu African Wear. Autry, Jill, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. And your outfits are exquisite. And Autry, you and I were discussing the change in the American perception of Afrocentric attire and the fact that now we're seeing metallics, we're seeing pastels, we're seeing shades and designs that represent a little bit of modification but still our African heritage. What can the customer expect when he or she goes to Adu African wear? First of all, they can expect their thin African wear. I've shopped all over African various countries to bring back a variety of clothing. Uh, they should expect beautiful colors such as what I have on, such as the design that my husband has on, and some that they shall see later in this show. Uh, I'm trying to tell their customer make it, make it to feel our taste, American taste, such as the outfit that you have on this teller. This is also telling with the flare bottom, with the uh, our light slip, but yet we still have a mean, uh, various colors, white colors. Now Africa are is more climate that contains year round. So we're not looking at winter, or summer, spring. We're looking at those colors. So I'm bringing those colors back into America. But I'm also bringing them along with season. And what you'll see in this show is some of the spring season. Mr. Adu, recently President Clinton visited the homeland and generated great excitement and enthusiasm. Would you share with us, in your view, the impact of this historic visit and what it means for America as well as for Africa? Thank you. I think it's going to give many Americans awareness. Major corporations are making millions of dollars in Africa. And with the recent trade bill that was passed in the uh, Congress, we're hoping that many people become aware of opportunities in Africa and take advantage of that. And so in stimulating this awareness, we know that ADU African Wear has a full variety of Afrocentric items, not only the fabrics and the clothing, as we were discussing earlier, Autry, but also many things of great inspiration, such as wood carving. That was approximately in 19, 
98. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So let's get ready for this evening. I'm going to introduce the moderator who will be in charge this evening. She is a woman of God, a good friend, brought all the way in from Atlanta, Georgia, because I wanted to not only see her, but for her to also express her talent in her. She has done many fashion shows before. And so I uh, announced to some, introduced to others, and bring forth Elder Mary Ann Williams. Thank you, Elder. Good evening, everybody. I can't hear you. Good evening. Good evening. This is your moment. You have just been a part of this elegant evening of dining in African fashion. So I need you to buckle your seat belts. If you were wondering why you're doing inside of this month, it is Black History Month. And it's where we celebrate our forefathers. We celebrate our African country. And so when you see these African fashions, I need you to hold on. I need you to write down if you want to purchase those. I need you to look at where we're going in 2016 in African fashion. So let's, without further ado, let's begin. I do uh, thank God for everybody in the room. I thank God for the adus and this awesome vision. So I need you to let us begin. As our models step to the door and the music begins, <laughs> We're going to see some regular materials that we use from Africa, like the kente cloth. But you're going to see the new materials that happen with African fashion. You see what we call fashion forward. You see fashion power. ready for our models to come out. Watch them. Did you know that fashion and beauty go together? We have Maya. Maya is about to step on the runway. It's a new design. It's a bold color. It's a kente cloth. It's a green and yellow. It's a traditional woven cloth from Ghana. She looks sleek. It's for dinner time. It's for going out on the town. She's her fashion is detailed. It's exquisite. It's elegant. Maya is from Senegal. Maya is a student of Village University and she's a senior. And our next model, ladies, don't think that you get too old to be in fashion. It's Patricia. She's seasoned, she's sassy, and she's saucy. She has a wonderful, elegant pantsuit. It's in a deep green. It's a long lace jacket. Lots of African wear can transition from day to evening to nightlife. And that's what Patricia is wearing. If you're shy and you need to cover up a little bit, she has a long jacket on that will cover you up. You can cover those left parts. Let's give it up for Patricia. Our 
our next model that's coming out is Jojo. Jojo is a young man. He's a gentleman. He's wearing a two-piece ensemble. It's a deep green ensemble. And it has a little shine to it. Again, what I love about the African fashion is that we can wear those from morning, noon, and night. Side pockets, he has side pockets in that shirt. Thank you, Jojo. Jojo describes himself as good nature. He's 19 and he is wearing it well. Our next model is Belinda. She is one of our most commonly known as a kente cloth outfit. It's a two-piece ensemble. It's fitted, it's contoured, and she is working the runway tonight. Work it, Belinda. If you need just a little pizzazz, just a little bold color, it's a green and a gold and a black. That's what she just got cracking in if you think she looks good. Now the models tonight are wearing African jewelry as well. So take a look at all of that wonderful jewelry. It will be displayed for purchase later in our show. Remember, fashion and beauty, they go together. Clap your hands one more time for our model. We have him coming out now, Ola. Ola is from Nigeria. He lives here in the States. He's married and he has a Piece on. It's a, a deep purple royalty is what we call it. Look at all that intricate work on the front of his chest. He has the African slippers on with it. And again, it goes from morning to noon to night. Clap your hands for Ola. Come on, ladies, you gotta look at that real good so you can dress up your man for this Black History Month if you don't do it no other time. And we are moving to scene two. As our ladies are about to come out. were somber colors, somber, conservative style, but we have moved up a notch, and so we have Dinah. It's a future. It's tool. Doesn't she look good? It's high heels. It can also be evening and or dinner. Come on, work that runway with that music for us, Dinah. Get out of here for us. You can make, you can have fun with it. If you like color, and that's what she's wearing, a pink tool skirt dress. I can see her from afar. She does the shine like a morning light. I can see very clear. She does the shine in a broad daylight.
part of their uh, uh, brunch every Sunday. They liked it so much. And so you have peanut butter. Of course, we cook a lot of spices. So we have ginger and other things that is in it. And uh, you can eat this with rice. You can eat it with uh, gary, uh, plantains, yams, anything. Or you can take it like you are having it in an American way, just the soup before your meal. So that is what you have. The next we are going to have is kenke. How many of you like uh, tamales? Hot tamales. All right. You see, hot tamales is nothing but fermented corn. Ours we call it kenke. Kenke is a corn when it's dry, the grinding, they let it ferment, then they boil it in the husk, corn husk. When I went to Indonesia, what we do in Africa is done all over the tropical countries. They cook in, in uh, plantain leaves, corn husk, and everything. So the kenke that is going to be served to you is nothing but fermented corn. And then you also have uh, what we call spinach stew. The spinach stew is spinach okra. You have all your regular ingredients in it, and then a couple of spices, and then you have a little fish. You can cook it with meat, chicken, anything. So that is the staple for this evening. You're gonna have ginger chicken. And the ginger chicken is, uh, again, cooked with ginger flavor. So I'm hoping that you enjoy it and hopefully next time we will also change the menu. Now what I want to let you know is that we eat a lot of pepper. 
people in West Africa, we have we love pepper, but the people in East Africa, if you eat from Ethiopians, you have to drink a gallon of water. <laughs> <laughs> Their food is hotter than ours in West Africa. And they, they, uh, we use curry, as many people know. So all we use, we use it over here too. Uh, we have many, many things that we eat to go with us too. Now in Nigeria they have eba, which is like Spanish too, but different leaves. We can say that we eat about maybe 20 different leaves, cassava leaves, besides the Spanish too. We have all kinds of leaves. Growing up, my mother had a garden in the back of the house, so when you start cooking, you go to the garden and bring the uh, thing and cook it. We don't buy from the store, we buy from the market, everything is fresh. And so that's how we eat, we eat before. But now, we live in the microwave life that <laughs> everything has been free, frozen, freeze, frozen. <laughs> and then before we eat, so we don't get all the ingredients, but most of Africa, our food is very, very fresh. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you.
your African queen. Now here comes Leonard. purchase today or you want to uh, get more information on we'll have that for you and our sponsor our person today is coming uh, to the mic let's clap our hands for our prophetess Audrey Avery. oh come on then the wonderful Kente dress uh, now that mustard in the dress is what's happening for this season Lady Michelle Obama award and well she just took her hat off so she has that wrap on her head. You can use your wrap separately, or you can add the hat to add a little more uh, sensual style to it. Look at the uh, dips in the skirt. It, that's not considered a high-low ball skirt, but it's called a handkerchief. And it's a style as well. Give us, give us that 
and skirt. Work around your jeans. We're not mad at you. These are the new colors. These are the bold colors. For our baby. Check out the shoes she has on her. Clutches are in. They are back. So if you gave all of yours 
the way you miss it because they are that. It's gorgeous. Clap your hands for Maya. All of my ladies in the accessories, come up one more time and go back out. Just one more time. Walk fast for them. Thank you so much. I 